For many years, Photoshop has been the industry standard for photographers and graphic designers. It's not cheap. Their monthly plans start at around $20 per month, costing you around $240 per year. Thankfully, if you need many of the same features found in Photoshop, there are free alternatives that you can use to create and edit your images like a pro. In this top five, I'll count down the best Photoshop alternatives for your computer that you can use for free. Let's get started. Starting off our countdown at number five is Pixlr. This is for those of you looking for a more user-friendly photo editor than those coming up in our video. It's browser-based, so it can be used in your favorite browser on any operating system without the need to download any software. It supports most of the popular image formats, including PNG, JPEG, PSD, and many others. Thousands of templates are available to help you get started, along with animation presets to enhance your images. Also included is a background removal tool to easily erase backgrounds with a single click. When you start out, you have the choice of using Pixlr X or Pixlr E. Pixlr X is their no-fuss editor for those of you that want to edit a photo quickly. And Pixlr E is for those of you needing a larger set of tools for more detailed work. With Pixlr X to quickly edit an image, you'll find a basic set of the most used tools located along the left to add text, crop, retouch, and add filters and effects. With Pixlr E on the left, you get more than double the amount of tools, including brush presets, sponge, fill and gradient tools, color tool, along with tools to transform your image. Both Pixlr X and Pixlr E are ad supported and for free includes most of the basic features that most people would ever need. For additional features and an ad free experience, they have plans that start at around $5 per month. Coming in at number four is paint.net. Its initial release was way back in 2004 as a more advanced alternative of Microsoft Paint and is still updated on a regular basis. It's improved quite a bit over the years. It includes blending and layer support, has tons of filters, special effects, a 3D rotate zoom function, and plugins created by the community can be added to enhance the functionality. The user interface is also better looking than it used to be and now has a dark theme built in. Most of the tools you would ever need are located in the toolbar on the left. In the menu bar here at the top, you'll find additional tools and features, including effects to transform your image. Paint.net is available for Windows only. To get it completely free with the option to donate, it's available from the developer's website, which is getpaint.net. That link will be in the description. It's also available from the Microsoft Store for a one-time cost of around $8 to support the development of Paint.net. Unit number three is Krita. While it's a fantastic painting program for digital artists, it's also a great alternative to Photoshop to edit your images. Best of all, it's completely free and open source with a ton of features. In addition to the basic editing tools, there's a large amount of brush customizations and painter's palette. It also includes masking tools, special effects, filters, layer management support, transformation tools, and works with most of the popular file formats, including Photoshop PSD files. It has a great looking modern layout with the primary tools on the left. Over on the right is the advanced color selector. Below that are your layers and a good amount of brush presets. It does have a steep learning curve. On this site, you'll find a handy user manual, tutorials, and how-tos that will help you out when you're getting started. Krita is available for all three of the major platforms, Windows, Mac, and Linux. Before we get to our top two, here are three bonus picks that might be worth your time to check out. Available for iOS, Android, and Windows, Adobe has a program for quick and easy edits to your photos called Photoshop Express. While not as feature-packed as premium Photoshop, you'll find a good amount of tools with hundreds of effects, filters, and themes. On Windows, it's available from the Microsoft Store, it uses the freemium model. Most of the basic tools are free. Advanced tools and features will cost you extra. Photor is another browser-based photo editor, just like Pixlr, and it's great for those of you looking for something that's easy to use. If you just need something basic to touch up a photo with a decent number of tools to tweak your images, this is one you might want to check out. If you work with raw images, Photoscape X is one you might want to try out. In addition to their photo editor, there's a photo viewer and a collage maker. It's available for Mac OS and Windows 10 or newer. 
On Windows, they do offer a pro version of Photoscape X in the Microsoft Store for around $40, with additional tools for advanced users. In the runner-up spot, coming in at number two, is Photopea. Many people pronounce it Photopea. The developer says it's Photopea, so that's how I'll pronounce it. It supports almost any image file type, including raw images, and also supports Photoshop PSD files. It's a web app, so it'll run in any web browser, and the layout of all those mentioned in this video most resembles Photoshop. Most of the tools you'd be using are located here on the left. In the upper right, if you click on Learn, it'll open a new page with tutorials that'll teach you how to use it. While Photop is free with all the features included, it is ad-supported. To remove the ads, get additional steps in your history, and help support the developer, you can pay as little as $3.33 per month. In the top spot, coming in at number one, is GIMP. This open source photo editing software is so powerful, it can do just about anything that Photoshop can with zero cost to you. It's 100% completely free. It includes advanced filters and effects, color adjustments, the ability to work with layers, and is compatible with most image file formats, including support for Photoshop PSD files. Painting tools are also included for digital artists, Full alpha channel support makes it easy when working with transparent backgrounds, and more than 100 plugins are available to expand its capability. When you launch GIMP, you'll notice a large set of tools located in the toolbox on the left. On the right is where you can work with layers and access the brushes. At the very top in the menu bar, it gives you additional tools to manipulate your image, including a good amount of filters for you to play around with. You have various themes that you can choose from, I prefer using a dark theme. If you want to change the theme, go to Edit and select Preferences. In the left pane in Interface, select Theme. Your choices are dark, gray, light, or have it default to the system theme for your computer. GIMP does have a steep learning curve. On this side, they do have tutorials that might be useful for you when getting started. Over the last few years, we've also released two beginner's guides that might help you out as well. I'll put the links to those in the description if you want to check them out. GIMP is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up. If you know of another alternative to Photoshop we should consider, let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and ring that bell to stay up to date with our newest top fives and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.